Hello, it's giveaway time, and in this time it's not going to be a watch giveaway or a pen giveaway. We've put up a few fishing videos because my son and I have been learning more about fishing. We've been having a lot of success and having a lot of fun. So, uh, we're starting this video with a giveaway, and uh, then we will be reviewing some interesting products that my son is investing in as he's learning about fishing. So we've had a lot of success with Rapala. And so this is a giveaway for a Rapala lure and this six inch swim bait jointed fishing lure. Now here's how you win. Uh, it's one package of two lures, this great big one, which we'll talk about in just a second, and this Rapala, which we've learned to have a lot of success with. So that's the prize. There's only the, these two things that I'm giving away together. One person will win. I'm not being sponsored by anybody. Um, to win or to qualify to win, you subscribe to the, the, our YouTube channel, leave a like and a comment. And here's what your comment needs to be. I want to know what you'll fish with this giant six inch lure and what you might catch. And I want to promise that you will share a picture of what you catch with this giant lure and what you might like to fish with this very nice Rapala. Um, it's an F5. Well let's, well, let's talk about that right now. So this Rapala, it's kind of like a perch, isn't it? But it should be very successful wherever you fish if you're into this kind of lure. And like I say, AC and I have been having a lot of success with Rapalas. This is the very one that you could win if you qualify. Um, so it tells about the Rapala company. There you go. This is the F5 size that you could win. Um, I think you would do really good with that one. But here's this one. Look at it with my thumbs. That's a big lure. And I want to know what you would catch with that big jointed swim bait. What would you fish with that? What would you like to catch with that? That'll be your comment. And don't forget, you need to be subscribed and you need to leave a like. Now let's take a look at some of the products AC and I are reviewing this week and uh, our success in fishing up at Pine View Reservoir. So here I present you with our latest uh, fishing experiment. These are medium expensive, kind of on the less expensive side quality reels. And it's a green one. That's really nice. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with this. We have a rod, an extra rod. We're gonna put this on and Ooh, that feels really nice. That actually feels really nice. I think that's going to work out very, very nicely. AC bought this, an eye bobber, castable Bluetooth fish finder. We're going to experiment, try this out, and tell you how it works and see what you think. We've made two fishing videos and haven't caught a fish. Hopefully this will help. We're going to go this weekend make a video using the eye bobber and you cast it out like as if it was a bobber and a lure but it's not it's not there to catch a fish it's there to it's a it's radar it's by bluetooth into your phone if indeed there are fish nearby and that's what we're going to be doing. We'll add this video. We'll, we'll show you how that's, this works out. The next time you see us here in just a second, we'll be fishing and using this eye bobber on that new reel and see how that turns out. So today, and we came up here to Pineview Reservoir for more practice with the bait caster. And we're going to catch a fish today. Pineview is beautiful. And also, we have a bobber over here that is a fish finder. It's an electronic radar device. There are lots of people recreating with boats here at Pineview. But over here, this is a wakeless area that you have people over there 
setting up their beach camp and that's fine that's the way it goes they have musky here they have trout and crappie right Trophy tiger musky, yeah. Do they have bass here? So we so we ought to catch something. We'll show you the, the fish finder bobber here in just a minute. So this is the eye bobber. On a tiny reel. On a tiny kid's reel. And and the, that's kind of a problem because it's a real soft kids short kids reel So we're not able to get the leverage to really chuck it out there So we'll change that for the next time we go and it works. It's really cool Okay, here right. we go. So we're sending it out there to see every time I worry I'm about to throw a hundred dollars into this <laughs> ah, that is But there it is it's out there on the water you can see the ripples now we're gonna look at the phone. All right. Oh, fish, 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 fish. It marks three fish already. It's getting pushed towards us, so it's there around 10, 11. There, 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 there. There, there, there they there. are. Look, there that's, are. that's showing fish. Holy cow. Okay, all right. We're gonna try to catch them. So I've hooked two crappies, but they got off. I wasn't able to get them on my hook all the way out of the water, and they. All of a sudden there was a flutter of activity and I pulled the fish out and they got away. There's fish jumping all over the place. And with his, like we showed, with his bait cat or eye bobber right there, you know, we can definitely see the images that there are fish and lots of people recreating. Having a good time just like us. So oh, there's what I got. A little crappie. There he is. Okay, let's. Oh, bleeding. Okay, I caught a bass. We got a bleeder. Oh hell. Well, he's bleeding from the bottom. He's been bit by something, probably musky. You look at him. Yeah, he's. Oh yeah, he's huge. Okay, so we caught a bass. Let me take. Let me. Let me grab the line. Start over. Okay. Somebody tried to eat this guy. He's got scars all over his belly. Recently. Yeah. Either that or he's not. Yeah, those are bites mostly. Yeah, and I've got him hooked on both hooks. So. Uh, all right, let's release him. Okay, we need to. We've got another, uh, another crappie. Little guy. 